Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. Some people seem to believe that the climate was like this when carbon dioxide levels were lower. They say that lower levels of carbon dioxide are climate justice. And they say that the forest fire season is getting longer because of increased levels of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. But the historical record does not support their assertions. This week in 1898, one of the largest forest fires in U.S. history burned up 3 million acres of the Carolinas in just a few hours. Hundreds of miles of timberland swept by the besom of destruction. And this was during winter. In that same week, Tasmania and New Zealand were on fire. Tasmanian bushfires raging over the island. Terrible bushfires, enormous damage done. New Zealand, a state forest on fire. Bushfires in southern Australia, heavy rains in Queensland, flood and fire, a strange contrast. Heavy rains, damage in McKay, Victorian fires, Fern Tree Gully Park destroyed. The fire fiend, Barma Forest on fire, 80,000 acres of flame. Later that year, there were great forest fires in Europe. By April, there were huge forest fires in California during a time of year when they're normally wet and green. And the forest fires in California continued throughout the summer. The fires weren't just in Northern California, they were also occurring down near Santa Barbara. The forest fires were burning all over California, Northern California, Southern California, and in the Sierra Nevada. Colorado had their worst fires on record in 1898, and they started early. On October 1st, 1898, the Pueblo, Colorado newspaper reported that fires were sweeping over both the mountains and the plains. The mountains will be bare. Forest fires in all parts of Colorado. Towns threatened with destruction. Forest fires of unparalleled range and damage. The New York Times said the fires were reported to cover most of the northwest part of Colorado. They extended through the counties of Route, Rio Blanco, Grand, Larimer, Garfield, Eagle, Pitkin, and Summit. And at the same time, there were massive forest fires occurring in Wisconsin. During the summer of 1898, Oregon reached their all-time record temperature of 119 degrees, not once, but twice that summer. The heat wave of 1898 was hotter than the 2020 heat wave, which the press claimed was the hottest ever. In November, fires were sweeping over the prairies and forests of the Seminole Nation. The fire season of 1898 extended from February to November. The fire season of 1898 was much worse and much longer than anything we've experienced recently. Once again, the press and NASA are misinforming the public. This document was on the National Interagency Fire Center website from January 2001 until January 2021. But then the Biden administration deleted it from the website, and I'm going to show you why. Burn acreage in the United States was 10 times higher during pre-industrial times when carbon dioxide levels were low. And here's some more inconvenient data which the Biden administration has deleted from the National Interagency Fire Center website. 90 years ago, burn acreage in the United States was more than five times higher than it is now. U.S. burn acreage has plummeted as atmospheric carbon dioxide has increased. During that same time period, the percentage of the United States experiencing very hot temperatures has also plummeted as carbon dioxide has increased. And the percentage of hot afternoons in the United States has almost dropped in half since the 1930s as carbon dioxide levels have increased. The real world of lower carbon dioxide levels was nothing like the imaginary world which the press, politicians, and government agencies want people to believe. Toto has been pulling back the curtain on this mass delusion for 15 years. You can visit him, Kyrie Caesar, Toki Upla, and the four new puppies on the web at realclimatescience.com.